in order to calculate the closeness centrality for any given node, considering the graph to be undirected, we can use the formula that closeness centrality of the node i is equal to n minus 1, where n being the total number of nodes, divided by sum of shortest paths of all the nodes represented by j from the reference node, that is i. So let's just calculate it for this graph, considering the edges to be undirectional. So let's just calculate it for the given graph considering the edges to be undirectional. We would also assume all the edges having cost equal to 1. So the closeness centrality for the node 1 considering the graph to be undirectional is going to be is going to be 6 minus 1 which is 5 divided by the shortest distance of the node from 2 to 6 from the reference node i. So the shortest distance of node 2 from node 1 is 1 plus as we have to add up all the values the shortest distance of node 3 from 1 is again 1 plus shortest distance of node from 1 is 2 plus that of node 5 is 3 and the shortest distance of node 6 from node 1 is going to be 3 which is going to give us a value of 5 divided by 10 that is 0 0.5 so this would be the closeness centrality of the node 1 now if you watch over here in case of degree centrality only the nearest neighbors were contributing towards calculating centrality that is in order to calculate the centrality for the node 1 we were only considering nodes 2 and 3 that is the ones to which it has got direct edges but in case of closeness centrality, even the nodes 4, 5 and 6 are also contributing towards calculating the closeness centrality for the node 1. So it's a more democratic approach considering more number of nodes and that is going to give us a better value. The closeness centrality for the node 2 is also going to be the same considering the graph to be undirected that is 0 0.5. Now let's just calculate it for the node 4. For this node again at the numerator we are going to have 5 and at the denominator 4 is at a distance of 2 each from the nodes 1 and 2. It's at a distance of 1 from the node 3, 5 and 6. So that is going to give us a value of 5 divided by 7, which is going to be the closeness centrality of the node 4. Now if you observe over here, if a node is connected to all the other nodes in the network, it is going to have a distance of 1 from all of them. That is going to bring this denominator value equal to n minus 1 and that would give it a maximum value of 1. So still the degree is contributing towards higher closeness centrality but in the previous case it was only the degree and in this case even if the degree is low but in general all the other nodes are much closer that is going to give a node a higher closeness centrality. In case the graph is a directed graph then we will have to use the same formula but the edges are to be considered with directionality. So to do so the closeness centrality for the node 1 considering the graph to be a directed graph is going to be 5 the distance from node 1 to node 2 is 1 plus the distance from node 1 to node 3 is 1 and we cannot calculate the distance from node 1 to node 4 because there is no path to it in the same way for node 5 and 6. For the sake of computation let's just use a very high value say 100 plus 100 plus 100 that is for the nodes 4, 5 and 6 being unaccessible. So we are going to have a value of 5 divided by 302. It's a very small value considering the fact that we cannot access half of the graph from the node 1. The same way, if we calculate it for the node 2, I believe it's going to give us the same value. So let's just calculate it for the node 3. 
So the closeness centrality for the node 3 considering the graph to be a directed graph is going to be 5 divided by 2 for the node 1 because first we'll have to come to node 2 and then go to node 1. So it is at a shortest path of 2. Then the node 2 is at a shortest path of 1. And again we are going to have 100 each for the nodes 4, 5 and 6. And that is going to give us a value of 5 divided by 303. Let's just calculate it for node 5 and that would be the last that we would use for calculating closeness centrality considering the directed graph and that is going to give us 5 divided by the shortest path from node 5 to node 1 is going to be in fact we do not have any shortest path from 5 to any of the nodes so that is going to leave us with a value of 5 divided by 500. So this is how we can calculate the closeness centrality for any node considering directed or undirected graph. We have already observed a shortcoming of this approach that in case we do not have a path from one node to another, we do not have any way out of that. And we have considered a very high value, in this case 100, for completing our computations. However, a strength of closeness centrality in comparison to the degree-based centrality is that it does not only observe the direct neighbors of a reference node but also looks into the neighbors of its neighbors and so on. So that is going to give a better value in case a node has shortest path to all possible nodes.